Hello, my name is Joran Kors. I'm a professor in urban planning at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Uh, I'm also working in practice with various development projects. Today I would like to say a few words about a recently published book, Deliberation, Representation, Equity, Research Approaches, Tools and Algorithms for Participatory Processes. I would like to start by making the claim that conditions for urban planning has changed dramatically over the last few decades. One big change is that the number of demands raised uh, on the plan is increasing. There are plans based in social needs and social concerns addressing issues such as social exclusion and social cohesion. There are people with an environmentalist interest bringing forward solutions that are long-term long -term sustainable from an ecological perspective. And of course, we always have the issue of financing in our economy. How could the qualities that we want to see uh, implemented in the plan be financially uh, realized? Uh, the role of the plan here is to merge all different interests into one holistic entity which then could comprise the plan. And this is becoming increasingly difficult as complexity in planning has increased. The second issue that uh, is obvious right now is that the number of stakeholders in urban planning has increased. In a typical project, we can see very, a number of stakeholders wanting to have a say in planning. It could be uh, landowners, it could be developers, it could be shopkeepers, could be environmental interest groups, and of course, the general public, the residents affected by the plan. From this perspective or this background, I would say that this book is an excellent tool for anyone uh, interested in issues about urban planning, urban development in, in our contemporary society. The first thing that the book provides, uh, which is important, is uh, ideas on how we can use uh, modern technology, e-communication, for bringing stakeholders together. That is both informing people about uh, plans and various options, but more importantly, to have ideas and to have a discussion with stakeholders on different ways of meeting the needs uh, that are addressed in, uh, in the plan. The second thing that is important is concerned decision making. In a typical project, we have lots of issues that has to be, be addressed. And for each and every issue, there are numbers of various options. Uh, if we look at a project in total, there could be thousands of various different alternatives for decision making. And of course, no human brain can have all these memories in mind at the same time. So here the book is extremely helpful by uh, introducing methods uh, to use computer-aided systems uh, so that we can, in a systematic way, analyze and uh, assess the outcome of various uh, alternatives for decision making. All in all, I would say that this book is very valuable for providing all these tools and all these methods for how we can address uh, the problems occurring in practically all urban planning problems of today. I definitely, definitely recommend it for people interested in urban planning and urban planning and decision making. Thank you.